Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be partnering up with Timu and doing a video on my recent haul that I got from them. I got some amazing things and they're very affordable. Everything on their site right now is 90% off and I will have a link to every single item that I purchased in the description box down below. So let's get started. So the first thing I got is this 48 hole cover holder. Um, okay, let's open this up so we can actually see what it is. Okay, so basically I thought this would be fun to add some glue book images into. <gasps> yes, you can add your full sheet in here. Oh, this is cool. What's this? What's this in the back? <gasps> oh my gosh. There's an envelope. Okay, this is so cool for glue booking. So basically you can work on a page, finish it, and then stick it in here like so. And then it works like that. that is so cool. I love this. And then I can put in here, obviously, what my glue book is, right? Like make a cover piece for it. Of course, I take this out and I can't get it back in. There we go. Nope, go back in. Go back in. There. That is cool. This would be great for like a travel glue book as well, because then you can put um, cardstock in here, take out the pages, glue, put them back in, and then you have this envelope in the back put all your stuff that's cool and then it stays closed because it has these rubber bands that are on the back and you just bring it around to the front and it closes that's cool I like it okay next I got this paper pad it is in it says it's 24 pieces of purple paper but it's not just purple it's all different kinds and these are six by six so let's see what we have here. Are these double-sided? They're not double-sided, which I don't mind. Um, ooh, it's a nice weight. It's not like, um, it's kind of like a heavier car, uh, scrapbook paper. It's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. So it looks like you get two colors of each, which is awesome. Oh, these are beautiful. These would be great for artist trading cards as well, but really great for collage. Ooh, these are even better than I imagined they would be. I love these prints. Very, very colorful. Ooh, this one kind of reminds me of like my neurographic art, how I like to do all the little circles. Oh, these are really pretty, really, really pretty. Oh, and then this is the two pieces from the back. Super cute, love these. Now keep in mind that all of the links to all of these items will be in the description box, as well as a coupon code that you can use and everything is 90% off right now. So we have that paper and then I have one more and this one's called Sunshine and it's also six by six. Ooh, I can already tell you that I love, I love the, this paper that's in the back right now. Okay, so let's look here. Okay, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Look at the colors. I really like the thickness of this paper. It's like, oh, this is cute. You can even cut this out and use these in your um, glue books or artist trading cards or iCads. Um, you can cut out the little word. I might do that. I might use one of these to just cut out the words. Ooh, I love this one. Very cute. Ooh, look at this. This is great for Pride Month, which it is right now. Ooh, I like the pink. You don't ever see that in pink. That's interesting. Ooh, I love the black and white. You already know. Cute, cute. And then we have this. Super, super cute. Love that. This one's called Sunshine. All right. Let's put this one back. Okay. And next I got this weekly planner. It's non-dated so that I can use it uh, whenever I want. So let's open this up and see. 52 weeks. Oh, I like this. So it has a habit tracker, weekly goals, to-do list, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekend, and then it repeats. This is exactly what I was looking for. This is perfect. Love it. 
And I like that it's not dated because I go through phases where I, I really need a planner and then other days are phases where I just, I can't keep up with it. I just kind of trinkle off and then I get back to it and I trinkle off. So this is really nice. I like it. Good size too. And I like that it has gold right here. I don't know. That's just very pretty to me. And then I got, now these three items are all very similar. Now what they're supposed to do is help you, um, they're like loose leaf, they're called loose leaf rings. And then they have this little um, piece right here that you put into the other piece and then it makes like a ring. So basically if you have, if you have like this and you want to, like I punched holes in this, in these two pieces of cardstock just to show. And then you put this in and then you clip it together like that. And now you have rings for a glue book. So that's really cool for people who don't like to do signatures or anything like that. So I thought these were fun and they're very flexible. So that's cool. So I have those. Those are in clear or white, however you want to try to get those back in. And I can't remember, do they say what size these are? They are 20 millimeter. So they're like a, three quarters of an inch wide, basically. And then there's these, which I was super into. Where's the, do I need to be smarter than the plastic bag? Jeez. So then there's these where it's the same kind of thing where you, I don't know how you open these though. Oh yeah, you just pull it apart. So you have it like this. And obviously you would need to um, make your holes equally spaced apart like these are, because these obviously don't fit. I mean, I could if I put one more hole, it would go in there. But with these, I need to um, measure. So I put this here and measure where each of the spots are and make a dot and then make the hole. But same kind of thing. And then you just put your paper through it you know, like that. And then you would close it and you can make your own glue books or junk journals or whatnot that way. So you get two of each color and you have yellow. This is like a light pink, light, uh, light green and clear. And then also this light blue. So you have uh, one, two, three, four, five. You get 10 of these in here. So that's pretty cool. You can even mix, mix and match the colors. Okay, and then I got these, which are similar to the first ones I showed you, but a little bit smaller, and they have some colors. So same kind of thing, you know, make your, make your little holes, put this through, clip it together, and now you have rings to make uh, a junk journal or a glue book, or a smash book, daily creative journal, whatever kind of thing you're making. And these are a little bit smaller. I'm guessing these are more like half an inch. So let's see what they say. Um, it doesn't say, but I'm guessing these are about half an inch because they're smaller than the other ones. So yeah, so we have all those. And then I got this, which is a metal clip that you put on like your planner or your journal or whatever. Let me show you here. I'll use it on this planner. Let me see if I know how this works. <laughs> I don't really remember. So I think you go like this, but then your pen is supposed to go in. Is that how it goes? Hold on. Oh yeah, because your pen's supposed to go like this. Okay, so it goes like this. Let me do it up here. Goes like that, and then your pen. I don't think I'm doing this right. I think that pen's too big. I think that's what the problem is. So then you go like this. There you go. Oops. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I can't get my little pen on there. There you go. So then it holds your pen in place. So that's cute. I mean, there's lots of different ways you can hold your pen on there. I think it just depends on which kind of pen you have. But yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Be great for my journal. All right. And then I got these transparent post-it notes. And I thought these would be really fun to like, no, oh, I think they're already, oh, I got, oh, I got two of them. So it's, look at this. So they're like, um, not parchment paper, but like deli paper. These are a little bit more plasticky feeling, but I thought this would be really fun because I thought if you like, you know, want to use it in your 
gluing and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be using archival ink here. It's permanent. So let's see how this works. Okay, so there. So what I was thinking was, is I could stamp on these and then use them in my art for different, you know, things. So let's see here. So let's give it a minute to... Okay, so let's see, does it spread? It does a little bit, but I didn't get it very much time to dry and it really didn't smear. So that's cool. I think this will be really fun to stamp on and then put in like glue books or junk journals or whatever. I think that'll be really cool. I've never seen a transparent one before. Okay, so next I got these. It's a set of 10 and they are fine liner markers. They are all different sizes. Let me see if I can get these open. It's like suction cupped right now. Oh, <laughs> there's a sticker, of course. All right, let's get that. There we go. All right, now we can open it. Got to be smarter than the package. Okay, so these, I believe, are supposed to be all different. I thought they were all different sizes, but maybe they're all the same. So let's see here. Ooh, I like the way that feels. If they are different sizes, then I don't see... Oh, they are. Okay, I just don't see... Oh, here's the number. The number's up here. Okay, so they are different thicknesses, just like micron pens. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, what's the 20? I don't have one that... Oh, it's like a brush pen. Oh, okay. These are awesome. So these are for my doodling and neurographic art. And they were far less cheaper than the name brand kind. And they work really well. These are really nice. And then the smallest one, look how fine of a tip that is. It is very tiny. Oh my goodness. I love these. I'm so glad that they're nice. Okay, so I cannot wait to make some neurographic art and art doodles with these. Those are very fun. Ooh, I'm very excited about those. Okay, and then I got some stencils and I got this one that has a bunch of circles because you guys know I'm obsessed with circles and dots. I love it. And then I got this one that it's paw prints and I thought this would be really fun for, I mean, just to have, because you guys know I'm an animal lover, but also for when I do like my dog and cat glue book. I thought this would be fun to do on the back of the pages. And then I got this one and this one's a set. And this is for um, mandalas. And you get a bunch of different bases here. So basically what you do is you trace these with pencil and then this is what you use to make your lines if you're going to either draw your mandalas or paint them so that you know exactly where to go instead of freehanding it. So you have this, this uh, stencil and this one. They're all a little bit different. So see how this is less intricate, maybe more for a beginner, more intricate, even more intricate. And then you have a bigger size as well. And you get two of those, two, right? Yes, two. So. You have one that's a little bit more intricate and one that's a little bit less. So this is cool because you can do it with, you can do it if you're drawing your mandalas or you can do it if you paint your dots, but you trace it with pencil first and that way you have a perfect stencil for making your mandala more even. Next, I got some die cuts for my die cut machines. This one right here is all different sized or different shaped tabs to put um, like in your glue books or your junk journals or whatever. So basically you run these through your machine and then you fold them in half and then you have these tabs to put on the edges of your pages. So I love that. And then this one I thought was really cute because it's eyelashes. So these are different eyelashes that I can cut out with like black um paper and then I can put them like on my glue book images like the models that are in a fashion magazine or whatever I can give them new big eyelashes and I think that would be really fun and then this one is flowers so basically you would use this as like um cut this out and then use it in card making or whatever so super cute I love this so cute okay 
And then let's move on to stickers because I got a ton. So I got some Care Bear stickers because, you know, I was born in the 70s, a child in the 80s, and I love Care Bears. So I got these. These are all super inexpensive. If you love stickers, this is the place to go. Ooh, they're matte. I like that they're matte. Super cute. These are going to be fun for just playing with or putting in happy mails or whatnot. So I got the Care Bears. And then what are these? These are, I have no idea. Oh, birds. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. So you guys know that birds are really special to me because my father who passed away from cancer last year, um, he really liked bird watching toward, during his cancer diagnosis. And birds are just beautiful. So I got all these little bird stickers because I thought they'd be fun in my glue books and like making artist trading cards and all that kind of stuff. So, and I love the size. I like that they're smaller. And I think these were, I mean, I don't want to say prices because the prices change all the time. So I'm not exactly sure how much these cost when I got them, but I thought they were like under a dollar or maybe a dollar or two. Very, very inexpensive. Okay, why can't I get these? Okay, well, we'll just leave that. Those are the bird ones. And then let's see what these are. These are like vinyl stickers. And these are, I believe, these are foxes. Oh, yes. Okay. So I got foxes because you guys know my dog Xena looks like a fox. She's orange and white. Um, if you saw her in the wild, you might think she was a fox. So I, I just wanted these because I thought that would be fun to incorporate when I do like pug stickers and stuff to have fox stickers. And foxes are cute. And how cute will these be to use like in my fall glue books and stuff? Very cute. Lots of different styles too. There's like cutesy, more artsy, like all different styles of foxes in here. So those are cute. Love those. These are, I have no idea. I just need to open them. The other thing about these is all my stuff came really quickly. I would say it came about a week, maybe nine days. That's including weekends. So it my, all my stuff arrived very quickly. Okay, so these are the vintage stickers that I got or like vintage inspired. And I'm definitely going to be using these in my glue book, my vintage one, just for little filler. Um, oh my gosh, look how cute this one is. A little bunny in a teacup. Oh, oh, here's some vintage dogs. Yeah, these are cute. Yeah, super cute. So those will be fun to use in my vintage glue books as well. Or whatever I decide to use them for. Artist trading cards, whatnot. Those are my vintage ones. These are... Oh, I got two of the same one. Do they have some of the different different stickers in them? I think there's some different ones in here and some that are the same. So I think basically you get, so what happened is I think some of my stuff might have been out of stock. So they sent me other things. Um, some of these are different. Like there's that bunny again, but some of these are the same. So I got two of those. All right. I like that some of the stickers are different though. Okay, so then I got this. This is like um, butterfly, like a butterfly washi tape. Okay, so this is washi tape and it's butterflies, which I love. <gasps> oh my gosh, these are so pretty. And you can obviously fussy cut these if you wanted to or to just use as is. I'm probably gonna fussy cut these um, as, as I want to use them. Oh my gosh. These are gorge, gorgeous. Oh, I love that washi. And then I got this washi. Are these individual stickers? How does this? Are they, how does this work? Are these individual stickers? It feels plasticky, but then, like, how do you get, 
Oh, I bet you peel it. So it's like a clear plastic. Oh my gosh, you guys know I have problems pulling these stickers apart. It is, it's just, okay. <gasps> so it's clear, it's clear sticker. So you can see through to the other side. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is cool. That is so cool. Okay, hold on, I got it. Wow, those are pretty. So it's all vintage-y. So you could cut them apart too if you wanted to, or you could just keep it as one whole strip. That's cute. Okay, these are like sticker tickets. Okay, this is cute because they come on like a little thing of twine. <gasps> Look how cute this is. So they stay all together. So basically you can, oh, there's a clear piece on top. So you tear these apart and then they're stickers. Aren't these cute? <gasps> Look at these. Ooh. Okay, obviously, you know I love butterflies because I got a lot of butterfly stuff. But how cute are these? And then look, it just hangs on a little string. That's cute. Love those. Okay. And then I got these flower celebration stickers. And I got them in, this is like bluish blues and purples. So these are a clear sticker that are flowers and you just peel them off. These are the ones in that video I had. <laughs> Ooh, they feel a little bit thinner, which I like. So these are like a clear sticker. The actual flower though is like matte. So that's cool. These are pretty. These are really pretty. I like that there's little clovers in there. I haven't seen that in a lot of my stickers before getting clovers. So you have flowers, you have leaves, you have clovers. So that's cool. It's not just all flowers. Those are really pretty. Then I got these stickers. Oh, I love the, the cover. I'm gonna cut this out and use it in my glue book. Oh wait, these aren't coffee. These are the old, I thought I got coffee ones. Maybe I didn't, maybe I got these instead. So these are like vintage um, food ads and stuff. Oh, I was so excited to see these. Look at these, won't these be fun in my vintage glue book? Oh my gosh, strawberry pie, $1. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Watermelon, Fresh Farm. Oh, I'm using these in my glue book. Chocolate, passion fruit. Yeah, seafood. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the coffee one. This is the one I want to put in my coffee glue book. Coffee 30 cents. How cute are these? I love vintage advertisements. These are super cute. These would be great too for um, artist trading cards because they're rather small. So that's cool. Ooh, I love stickers. These are fun. Okay. Oh, they're called grocery labels. That's what they're called. And then I got these vinyl stickers, which are motivational stickers. So everything is very positive based, like grow through what you go through. Um, I just thought these would be fun. When I send packages, I like to put stickers on the front and I like these positive Stay cool. You can do this. We can do hard things. Stay humble. Hustle hard and be kind. Work hard and be nice. Groovy girl. Don't trip over something that is behind you. You know, you get the picture. So really fun. Um, I thought these would be great too um, for journaling because I want to do like a positivity journal that every day I can write down positive things that happened in my day and really focus on the positive aspects of my life and not uh, focus so much on the negative. So I thought these would be fun and these will be great for like happy meals and stuff as well. Let's see this one. Oh, I love these. You will be found, breathe, live like you were dying. I'll be your sunflower, be positive. Oh my gosh, what's this? Be kind to every kind, dogs, <laughs> people. I love that one. So anyways, let's get this bread. Oh my gosh, I love that. Throw kindness around like it's confetti. Be happy. Yeet or be yeeted. Love that. Um, I'd rather be in bed. But you know, these are just really fun. You can do hard things to infinity and beyond. I don't know. I just, good vibes. I just thought these were really fun. And I like that they're colorful and... Um, I'm really, I'm really happy with these. I'm glad I got them. All right, let's put those over there. So those are my positivity stickers. 
Okay, and then I got these Journey Retro Tickets sticker pack. So these are all vintage retro type things made into stickers. Oh, that didn't go there. This. So let's see what these are all about. Oh, these are cool. Oh my gosh, these are all stickers, you guys. Ooh, these pull apart. So they have like a perforated thing right there. Oh, these are fun. Oh my gosh, I won't even have to glue these because they're stickers. Look at this, you get so many. How many do you, 50 pieces? Holy cow. These are cool. I love that they're stickers. Oh, and then you get these tickets. Oh, and they're all vintage. Okay, these are going in my vintage glue book for sure. So many different styles of tickets as well. Gate. What's this one? I like this with all the different. And again, they're perforated. So each of these, this is three stickers on this sheet. This is one, and this is one, and this is one. And then this has two. These are nice. I really, really like these. These are fun. I like it. Okay, so we have those. Look at all these stickers I have so far, you guys. <laughs> I wasn't messing around. And then I got these, which are retro time uh, stickers, borderless stickers. So they are like label stickers, basically. They are, and I got the blue, they had different colors. So these are all stickers as well. Ooh, I like the round ones. Square, you got all different shapes, different sizes. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, that's so cute. So yeah, these are a bunch, of, you even have some bigger ones. So those are cool. I wanna get some more. I think next time I'm gonna get these in red as well, because I think the red would be really cool. So I got those. And then last but not least for the stickers, I got these and they're kind of like the ones that I use in my glue books and my, um, well, all my art really from Tim Holtz. So these are really cool word stickers in there. You get, how many do you get in here? It feels like a ton. Holy smokes. And they're in different um, colors as well. So each page has different colors. This is nice. Every single one is different. Every single one is different. I love these. I like that they're um, different shades of brown. Very nice, like throw kindness around like uh, confetti, take risks, and so the adventure begins. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Start doing things you love. Have an open heart. Don't forget to fly. I mean, these are great. Use your wings. Be in love with your life. These are great. Really like these. These are going to come in super handy. Okay, so next, now we're getting into things that are more like for the home. Now, some of you guys are going to really love this, and some of you probably have no idea who this is, and some of you will not like this at all, but... I love Snoop Dogg and I had to get this. So I got this little Snoop Dogg that's like Elf on the Shelf, but it's Snoop on a stoop. <laughs> it's Snoop Dogg and he has little bells. So my glue crew member, Stephanie, she sent me this, which is the same thing, um, but it's a keychain or an ornament. And so I got, I got the Snoop. So I love it because I love Snoop Dogg. So I got that for myself. And then I got, oops, hold on, sorry. And then I got three metal signs. Now I got this one um, for my mom because obviously we lost my dad and I thought this would be a really nice uh, metal sign for her. So they're metal. And then this one, they were out of the one that I ordered. So the one I got said, welcome to Grammy's place because we call my mom Grammy, but they sent me welcome to Mimi's place. And then this one I got for my sister and it says, garden, pardon the weeds, I'm feeding the bees. And I thought this would be really cr great for her to put in her garden because my sister is an avid gardener and she absolutely loves bees and always tries to save them. So I got her that and I thought those were really nice. They'd be great to hang outdoors too. And then I got these, I got two and these are amazing. So you open up the box and inside are these wooden lights. So here's the, and it's USB. And it, it this one is a fox. And you'll see here that it's different layers of wood glued together. So you get this 3D effect. 
Isn't that so cool? And it lights up. So let's light it up. Isn't that so cute? So I got a fox for Xena because obviously she's a mixed breed and they don't have <laughs> a whip it husky mix. So I got this for Xena and then it has this little and then they have these little light switches here so you can click it on and off. So I got that one. Isn't that so pretty? I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put these on my buffet in my living room. And so you guessed it, I got another one. And you probably, if you're a fan of my channel, already know which one this will be. Yes, I got a pug, a pug for Shermie. So let's light this, or yeah, light this up. I was gonna say light this up, but <laughs> we aren't lighting it, we're going to plug it in. All right, here we go. Let's click the button. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Obviously, this would be easier to see in person, um, but look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. They have so many different characters and animals, you guys. You have to check it out. Um, different animals, and I chose, obviously, a pug and a fox because they remind me of my dogs. Last but not least, I got this magazine holder. So I will insert a picture of what this looks like because I haven't put it together yet. But basically it's flat and not very wide. It has a little spot here to put tissue. And then these are all slanted and I'm gonna put all of my collage books in them by my desk so that I have them ready for when I'm ready to collage. All right, everyone, that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch my video. I'm super excited about all these products that I picked up from Timu. They are very affordable and most of the products are up to 90% off. So don't forget to check out my description box down below to get all the links to your favorite products. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite product that I got was. And don't forget to have a fabulous day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.